But anyways, the topics that I would like to talk about is how I think the elections are rigged by the elitists. How our food prices are going up sky high due to inflation because of QE3. And uh, how the Chinese government is spending millions of dollars on our educational system for our kids to learn Mandarin Chinese. What kind of topics would you like to bring up tonight? Oh, we can talk all about that stuff. It's going to take a while to talk about. So, well, we, I'm going to try to do... Uh, I'm going to try to do 10-minute segments. Keep it at 10 minutes. Well, my opinion, and and the only reason this is my opinion is because you got me thinking about this, is that the elitists, which I'm talking about like the Bilderberg groups and stuff like that, the elitists have already picked Mitt Romney to be president. This is my opinion. And it's due to the fact of how Obama's been acting. That first debate was a big debate. The way Obama flopped, it's like he almost was meant to go out there and flop. And that's what you told me, correct? Yeah, yeah that's what I told you. Uh, I mean, if you watch, you watch any Obama speech, anything he's ever done, anything, he, he's never like, he's never like that kind of guy. He just Okay. And this all goes back. This all goes back to the 2008 election when it was between the, Demo- the Democratic who was going to run for president for the Democratic Party between Hillary Clinton and President Obama, and you know it was going up to the DNC, the Democratic National Convention. It was going to be decided there. All the delegates were in the common. They were going to vote. They're going to see you got to run for president for the Democratic Party. That's how close it was. Nobody knew. It wasn't until Hillary Clinton came up 24 hours before that, before they were going to vote for the run for Democratic president, she completely uh, succeeded for running. She came up on stage, said she was going to run for president, and that she fully supported Barack Obama. And you watch that video. Her expression, her facial expression, her body language. She was told, she didn't decide, she was told that she was not going to be the next president of the United States of America. The elitist. why she was told that, she was told that by the Golden Group. To, to, to sum it up, to break it down, the elitists are playing a big oh. chess match right now with us, with our government politicians. Obama has came out and said he wish he can bypass Congress to pass laws and bills. He don't even want to go through Congress anymore. He wants to do it himself. And anybody in the second debate that thinks Obama won or did good, Obama fucked up a lot of his talking points where he said he was going to ban assault rifles. Um, the thing about gas, that thing really killed me where he said... We were in a recession. We were getting ready to go under. That's why gas prices were so low. Well, open your fucking eyes. Look at what's happening today. Why the fuck ain't our gas prices really low? And if the food crisis is really going to happen in 2013 because of all the crops that were damaged, wouldn't you want to bring gas prices down so the truckers can get it here cheaper? So the commodities and stuff that we need to survive is cheaper? Well, it's fine. Well, what kills me is people that keep saying that the president has nothing to do with um, gas prices. The president yeah, has. The president doesn't have anything to do with gas prices, but the, the elite people that support the presidency, that support who they want to run for, who they want to be president. They control the gas prices. Hey, keep talking. Keep so, going. Like I said, when gas prices went down, it 
you know, that could have been a reaction to the people that want Obama to be in office. Well, they say, well, we'll bring down the gas prices and that. We'll show the public that, hey, the gas prices are going to come down. How long they stay down, I don't know. They could go back up after the election, like I said. I mean, gas prices fluctuate so much. Gas prices? Gas work. They can't tell me gas one day is going to be 380. You can't tell me for the last four years Obama has did any good for us. You're you're voting. Who are you voting for? Just let the people know real quick. Who are you voting for? I'm voting for Barack Obama. I'm voting for Mitt Romney. So you're getting two sides of the story here, people. I just wanted to throw that out there. The, the, the American public, I don't think, has voted for the president of the United States since the 2000 election. We, Even more possible with the Electoral College that we have no control over who's president of the United States of America. If it was as easy as a popular vote, Al Gore was the president back in 2004. But they do you know those goddamn electoral votes. But they screw everything up with the electoral votes, which has been like that forever. I, can't, I, don't, I don't know for sure if it's always been like that. I don't think so, but it's been like that forever. And when they change it that way, that's, I mean... There's so much that can happen in an election, and so, you know, this world's corrupt, and to think that we have the power, to think that the people that are elite in this world, not just America, people think, when we talk about elite people, it's elite people in America that are deciding all this, no, it's people, mostly it's people are worldwide. You, people people in the UK, people in Af the, the people that are running our oil, the elitists, the, the most richest people in the world. And when you think Bill Gates is rich, which he's a evil motherfucker, he's like down here compared to the elitists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the people that have the most to lose their game money-wise are who's president or who's controlling this my, world and who's controlling America. My opinion is... They are really pushing for new world order. I know a lot of people think I'm fucking nuts and crazy, but that's my opinion. I'm voting for Mitt Romney for my own beliefs and my own reasons. You're voting for Obama for your own beliefs and your own reasons. But we both know for a fact that it does not matter who we vote for. No, it doesn't matter because both, both, both candidates are pushing for a new world order. Both candidates. Yo, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna mess my our. View, my view is Romney wants to go to war to, wants to go to war to get it done. I don't think Obama wants to go to war to get it done. Obama's, uh, Obama's not gonna go to war. And Mitt Romney, I can't say he's gonna go to war, but he might. And if he does decide to go to war, that's fucking stupid. We, we need to quit being the bullies, man. We need a Gary Johnson. For president, somebody like him. That's who we need. Somebody that's gonna be like, you know what? I'm bringing our prices back to the way they need to be. You know, stuff like that. Um, we only got one minute, and the uh, segment's up. Michael, I'm gonna go back to all this. You gotta remember that. Yeah, first of all, nobody. It's gonna take too long to explain what the voting group is. So if everyone wants to know what the voting group is, just YouTube the voting group build group. It's, it's not nothing made up. I mean, every year, every year, there's a hundred time, a hundred twenty some people that meet at a hotel every year to discuss what's going to happen in this world. To discuss what's going to happen to you, the elitists want to bring us together. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama were both brought, both brought to the voting group. Forty seconds. And 24 hours later, Hillary Clinton announced her candidacy to run for president of the United States of America. And the reason why is because she was told that Barack Obama would be next president of the United States of America. 100%. You, and, and she did not like that at all. But she followed through like with it. Because, because I really believe but, as much as I like Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton would have been a better president than Barack Obama. Correct. But hey, stay, this is part uh, two. Stay tuned. We'll try to make some more. I want to get on the Chinese. But stay tuned, people. Um, 
Like our uh, videos, share them to Facebook, and uh, thank you.